Hi students, so now that we've worked with the repository design pattern, let's go ahead and do a short tutorial on how to do this unit of work pattern now. Uh, so the unit of work pattern is essentially since we already have the uh, since we already have the genericized database wrapper that we can simply uh, pass whatever object we want to it or whatever uh, essentially a plain old C-sharp object that is, represents the table that we want to work with. Uh, now we can start building some um, specific functionality that we want to do with those uh, with those tables or with those repository objects. So uh, what does that mean exactly? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in uh, an interface just like we always do with these dependencies that we work with. Uh, so the first one I'm going to use is the i um, i book store unit of work uh, dot cs and let's go ahead and add in a second one as well while I'm adding files I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, sister to that the bookstore unit of work dot cs so let's go ahead and do a namespace um, what is this bookstore dot model Models. I never remember. Is it model? Bookstore models. So let's do namespace bookstore.models public interface i bookstore unit of work. And the bookstore unit of work uh, public class bookstore unit of work. All right, and then, so let's go ahead and uh, implement I bookstore unit of work. So it can't be found. Bookstore unit of work, bookstore.models, I bookstore unit of work, bookstore.models. What am I missing here? I bookstore unit of work. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, create a couple methods here and see if that fixes it since it's blank right now. Um, so the couple methods that they have in the book, we have void delete current book authors, and then we're going to pass in the book that we want to delete the book authors of, and we'll do a void add new book authors. Now let's go ahead and pass in the book, as well as the author IDs that we want to add on to the book. Okay. Is this one still complaining? Let's go ahead and copy this over here. Um, otherwise, let's try to restart OmniSharp again. Okay, that looks like restart and OmniSharp fixed it. So let's go ahead and implement the interface. Okay, now we have an interface. Let's go ahead and tell it to build us a constructor because we're going to need to end up passing in the context. So let's put our context on our class. So let's go ahead and private bookstore context since that's what we'll be using here um, to work with our database. 
and we have this. Uh, so let's go ahead and pass in the bookstore context CTX, and we'll just pass in a lambda that sets it. So context equals CTX. Let's put in an actual equal sign. And we're good there now. OK, so the first thing I'm going to add is uh, one of the repositories that I can work with. So uh, I know I can work with books. So let's go ahead and add in a repository for book. OK, I want to call it book data. And then I'm going to give us a way to get that book data to work with. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, so you see this is our private book data. I'm going to go ahead and give us um, a public property for us to work with that repository of book data with a capital B book data. Uh, I'll just say books. And I'll give us a way to get it. If the book data uh, is null, I want to make sure I instantiate it first. So the book data equals new repository of books and pass in the context. Otherwise, if it is not null, return back the non-null reference. Okay. And then what we can do is add in a repository for every single table we have. And I've actually already done that to save time. So I'm going to add in the authors, the genres, and the book authors. Let's go ahead and add that in here. So you see we have our author data, um, our book author data. So that's essentially the linking table between our books and our authors. And we have our genre table, which is our foreign key to our books. So now I have all the things I can possibly work with in, within my context of my database. And now I can do more uh, specific workflows on each of those items here. So what I can do is I can say, uh, so I'm adding a new book. So what I want to do is for each, uh, go through all of the author IDs that I have and add those to my book context. So I can say for each, uh, let's go ahead and say ID in IDs. To be more explicit, I can call them author IDs. OK. And then I can say uh, the book author, which I'll call BA, equals a new book author. And remember, that's um, how we link the two together. And I can say the book ID equals the book ID that I passed in, because that's the, the new authors that I want to add to. Uh, so book dot book ID. And the author ID equals the ID uh, within this for each loop. So go ahead and terminate that statement. And then after I make the new book author, then I can say book authors dot insert. So notice I'm calling book authors insert now. So I'm using my repository. And I'm going to insert that book author. OK. One thing I think I forgot to add to the interface here was a way to save what we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and say void save and then go ahead and add that back over here and implement it. Implement the interface. 
And then when I go down to my save method, I should be able to call my context.savechanges. So now whenever we say we call uh, add new book authors, we pass in the book that we want to add it to as well as the author IDs, then we can simply call uh, save changes on our unit of work class. So let's go ahead and implement now delete current book authors. So uh, we have in the book that we want to delete the authors on, so we can say the current authors on that book equals the book authors dot list. So remember we have this list method we can use that we need to now pass in some query options here. And then from those query options, I want to pass in uh, where. So I'm going to go ahead and then give it a lambda expression where the book author. So where the book author book ID equals the book ID that I was passed in. Okay. I don't believe I need a semicolon here, but I do need one down here. Like so. And then now that I have grabbed all of the current authors on that book, now I want to delete them. Now I can simply for each through them. So then now current authors for each author in current authors. Uh, so current authors is an enumerable of book author. Now I can simply say book authors dot delete the author. Okay, so now how do we use this? So now that we have this, whenever I want to call, say, add new book authors, um, I would need to come to a controller. So there's a controller where I want to work with it. Uh, let's say I want to do it here and say privacy. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is say uh, private bookstore data unit of work. Now I go ahead and give it a name data. Go ahead and give it a getter and a setter. Now let's go ahead and call it uh, unit of work. Okay. Let's go ahead and set it again in here so I can say unit of work equals new bookstore unit of work. And again, I need to pass in that context because we'll be using that to save the changes and whatnot. And actually, let me go ahead and return to view here just so it stops complaining at me and giving me a red line. And then from here, I can then say something like, if the model state, uh, this is just an example. This is a poor example because um, this isn't necessarily a post method, but I, then I can say data dot, or no unit of work, I'm sorry. Dot add new book authors. And then I can pass in, say, for example, new book. So I, I can just give it whatever parameters it needs. And then a new uh, string of ID. Uh, it is an array of string, right? That's an array of int. OK. Okay, so say I'm passing in some book and some authors that I want to add to it. And then I can simply call unit of work dot save. So hopefully this uh, tutorial of videos was uh, somewhat helpful. The first we talked about the repository pattern where we can create repositories of tables we can work with. And the next was the unit of work pattern where from those repository of tables that we work with that we genericized, uh, now we can come back to our unit of work class uh, here, add in all of those repositories. And then after we add in the repositories, then we can start making uh, exactly which methods we need to use 
to work with each one of those entities, uh, depending on what uh, table it is. So hopefully this was helpful, and uh, good luck on the uh, assignment, and I'll see you guys in the next set of videos.